Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys five crucial settings that you need to change on your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And of course, in this video, we're using a Note 9 running the One UI with Android 9.0 Pi. So if you have an older version, uh, the settings might be in a different location or the settings might not exist. But anyway, let's dive in and discover these five crucial settings that you need to change right away. Now, before we dive in, if you do own a smartphone, make sure to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to Saki Tech. And of course, make sure to click that notifications bell icon as well to make sure you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. The very first thing I want to talk about has to do with optimizing your phone so it runs properly. So if we go into the settings and if you go into the uh, device care, Normally, you would have to come in here manually and tap on the button here, uh, which is going to come up in a, in a couple seconds, which is this one here. So you tap this, it's going to optimize your phone. You can do this on a daily basis a couple times if you so desire. Now, what I want you to do is to put this on autopilot. So what you want to do is tap on this button, go into auto optimization, and it's going to do that once a day without you having to do it manually. So it's going to optimize your phone automatically once a day. Uh, the background apps will be closed and your most recently used apps and unnecessary files will be deleted and it's not going to affect your personal data. All you do is pick a schedule uh, which could be which could be 3M overnight or 259 or whatever you want to pick. Okay, It's best to do it when you're not using your phone and funny thing is if you are using your phone and if you have it uh, scheduled it's not going to work because it doesn't want to interrupt your workflow. Okay. So that's auto optimization. Just do that instead of doing this uh, yourself. Uh, doing this once a day is going to keep your phone running like a champion. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to the settings again and then you want to go into the auto restart. Now this is actually one step beyond auto optimization. This is going to restart your phone fully and give it a nice kick so that your phone runs amazing. Okay so make sure to turn this on and what you can do is you can pick a time and a date. Uh, day. So you can pick multiple days. You can have this done every other day, every day, or just once a week. So just in this example, I'm just going to uh, pick Monday and Friday, and I'm going to make sure that the phone auto restarts at 3 a.m. in the morning when nobody's playing with the phone. And that's just going to make sure that your phone runs again in optimum performance. Uh, in combination with auto optimization, this is absolutely fantastic. And of course, uh, make sure you read these uh, four bullet points. Uh, the phone will only restart when these conditions are met. Okay, so make sure this option is enabled as well. Let's move on to the next tactic. Now, the next feature has to do with security. So let's go to the settings, go into the lock screen, and then let's go into the secure lock settings. Tap on that and put your PIN number in right away. And over here, there's two options that need to be enabled. Now, first one is lock instantly with power key. So when you turn off your phone, you want to make sure that it is instantly locked and nobody can tap this button, swipe in and unlock your phone. Okay. If this option is not enabled, that is exactly what's going to happen. People can just uh, re unlock your phone that you just powered off with the power key. The other thing is when your display turns off automatically, make sure that the screen locks immediately. OK, because if you have any one of these options here, the screen actually doesn't lock until that time here passes. So if the display just turns off right now, it's going to take 30 seconds for that phone to lock. So you want to make sure that is set to immediately as well. OK, so make sure that is also enabled in conjunction with this feature over here. And of course, finally, make sure this option here, lock network and security is enabled. Now, this is a fantastic feature that makes sure that your Wi-Fi and mobile data cannot be turned off while your phone is locked. So if you ever lose your phone, uh, it's going to be very easy to locate it by using Find My Phone application for your Samsung mobile device. OK, so make sure this is enabled so the Wi-Fi and mobile data cannot be turned off, which means you can easily locate your smartphone anytime from anywhere. All right. So that was the last tactic for today. Thank you for watching this video and make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more tips and tricks to come. Have a fantastic day.